Only a few microbes are dangerous, but one of the most deadly to humans is a virus called variola. This causes the disease smallpox, and so far, this is the one and only disease that we've managed to get rid of totally. These are some of the last people to be infected. The smallpox virus causes a painful, ugly rash of spots that fill with pus. The disease was often fatal. The battle against smallpox started many hundreds of years ago in China. They realised that by giving someone a mild dose of the disease, it actually stopped them getting full-blown smallpox in the future. Ow! In China, smallpox scabs were collected from victims and put into bottles. After a month or so, most of the smallpox viruses were dead or weakened. To make a person immune, the powdered scabs were blown into their nostrils. In India, the pus from a mild case of smallpox was used and smeared into a scratch on another person's arm. In Turkey, Lady Mary Wortley Montagu first witnessed the use of poxy pus in 1717. Using poxy pus, how very interesting. And was so impressed, she brought the idea back to England. But the pus was sometimes strong enough to cause the full-blown disease and death. A way had to be found of infecting people without killing them. In 1796, Englishman Edward Jenner saw that milkmaids sometimes caught cowpox. And this made them immune to smallpox. Edward Jenner went on to prove that if you deliberately give someone a small dose of cowpox, they won't get deadly smallpox. But it wasn't until nearly 200 years later, in the 1960s, that an international decision was made to try and rid the world of the smallpox disease. The World Health Organization planned a massive program of vaccination. The smallpox virus could only survive inside people, so if everyone was vaccinated, the virus would die out. It took 20 years of hard work to rid the world of smallpox.